Alrighty, folks. Welcome on back to blah, Darksiders, whatever this game is called. Uh, anyway, as promised, I got this car into place so that we can jump up here with no issues. Um, I can't jump downwards. That doesn't work. So, oh, hello. Boom. So those give us souls. This takes us where? Ah, back up here. Okay. Well, then let's go back this way. No, oh, onto the wall. Thank you very much. Okay. And now that we're back over here, what are we supposed to do over here? Oh, yeah, there's crystals and stuff here. Well, hello. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha, you missed. Oh, yeah, we're not on the right weapon. All right, so that gives just souls. How many of you do I have to fight? Now. There we go. Okay, I got your little minions. Now to get you. Excellent. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now, I'm still curious how to get up here. And I do believe... Did we need these to get up there? I have this funny feeling that there's something up there. Like a chest. <laughs> or something. Something that I need. Okay, let's see here. Let's actually go upstairs. Right, that's only marginally faster, I forget. Marginally faster and much louder. So let's see here. Let's get that crystal shattered. Okay, so this doesn't go over to the other side like I thought it was going to. Interesting. What is on the other side? Hey, wait a minute. How did you get this all cleaned up so quickly? And why can't I jump? <laughs> At least, why can't I jump the way that I want to? See, he just walks off the edge. Uh, 
All right, we'll do this the way that we're supposed to. It's fine, it's fine. There is a door over there, though. Did I go through that door ever? Yeah, see, the, he does this weird little half jump. That's him adjusting, but it he does it right when I press space to jump. And I don't like it. All right, let's actually open up the map. Oh, so I had to get over there initially. No. What in the world? So she's down there, which is this path, which we're going to, but there's also this other offshoot. There's another door right here on this level. Over there. See it? There we go. Oh, right. I couldn't grab the the thing. Right. Now I remember why we didn't go over there. Because we couldn't. <laughs> All right. Well, then let's get back upstairs, shall we? And let's actually go get this taken care of. So, I do like the fact that they put stuff in like that, but uh, it's a little bit weird when they do it in such a way that you can see it, but you can't, like, you could see it, you could think that you could get there, but you really can't. Let's get you to go up. Let's get you to go up. Haha. -ha. How would we have gotten out of there otherwise? Oh, it goes back down. Okay. Wait, what? Hmm. Okay. So this is how I was supposed to do it. Got it. I'm sitting here going, wait a minute. They didn't stay up long enough for you to go from one to the other. Whoop. There we go. All right. What is actually up here? That would be the... There's a beholder key down that hallway. Okay. So we're not going that way. At least not yet. Oh, I can fit through these. Oh! Yes! Does this put us at four or three? Man, we need that fourth. Okay, where is the explodey bit? The bit that actually blows up. Because I know that I can do this and get all of them lit together. But then there's nothing down here for me to set off. I wonder if it's way back here. That's possible. Whoa, hello. Okay, so those guys throw fireballs. Yeah, it's down here. Okay. I was 
gonna say, and I'm guessing that if I attack with this in my hand, it uh, I drop it. There we go. And so it's this way to the beholder key then? Is that what I'm getting out of this? That's what it looks like. Alright. Well, that's nice that I can make fighting look fancy. Ow. Basically, I, I, I can make it look fancy because I'm constantly switching angles while I'm clicking. And so you get a lot of different... Uh, like, you get that ability that shows up. Uh, the one that I can never get while practicing. <laughs> okay, so I see the beholder key. But to get across there, I have to raise the water level. Would be my guess, anyway. Uh, unless I can jump out of the water that far, which I kind of doubt. Aha, here we go. Here's what I was looking for. Okay, where am I wanting to go with this? Apparently not there. Yep, nope, definitely not there. Whoop. Alright, and I was correct that I could not have stood in this. Um, however, I probably could have jumped. So let's see here. Let's get all these shattered. Why? Because of something like that. Alright, alright. Are you going to come over here and attack me? Yes, you are. <laughs> but apparently they're not going to do it fast enough. Where's the other one? Okie dokie. So, I have to throw you all the way over here. And then I have to actually get there to blow it up. And that's not going to work. Okay, I'm not going to be able to jump over there either. So I don't know exactly why I did that. I do. Wait, there's a switch. What is the switch? Oh, now I see why I did that.
Okay. Nope, I lost the other one. There we go. Just had to stand in the exact perfect spot. That's what I was missing. Okay. Okay, so what exactly does this do? It allows the water into the room below. Does that mean I can now jump down there? That would be my guess. Alright, so before I go down, is there anything that's weird here? No. Okay, nothing else I don't think got added underwater. So we grabbed the beholder's key. And we run back out. And we play Runaway. <laughs> oh, there was something I could have done down here. That's interesting. Or at least I could have fallen down. Because there's nothing down here now. I was trying to look earlier, and I didn't see anything. Um, I didn't even see a way down or nothing. But yeah, there's a way down right here. Alright, and at this point, my audio cuts out. Um, I'm also probably just slightly ahead of everything. Uh, so... I am going to attempt to <laughs> keep everything going. I'm trying a new way of doing this, and we'll see how it works. Anyway, we've got more bugs to deal with. Oh, yeah, I'm... The, the video is definitely behind. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if I can get that scooted up just a little bit. Maybe. We'll have to see. So, we do have the beholder key. We are heading towards here like we need to. Oh, that's close enough. So yeah, let's get to the new area and see what might be going on. Well, hello, big scary arm thing. I'm a little hesitant to go in front of that. So let's see what's back here first. And we have nothing, just the cart. All right, let's punch it. Yeah. Oh, hello. There's two of these things? Or did this thing show up just twice? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, look. A chest full of health. So, we have full health, but I also don't know what's coming up. So, I'm, I'm guessing at this point that there's enough health ahead of us. So, we go back and we get the health. There wasn't. We had a fight that we got hurt in. Ah, uh, <laughs> that's coming up here in a second, and it's not hard to determine that I get hurt in a fight. I mean, come on, really? All right, so we got one of these big guys. Okay, we have two of these big guys. Let's start. I try to keep track of which one I'm fighting uh, so that... I know which one it is that I have to mount. But then minions decide to show up. And we all know how much I love my minions. Here we go. We'll get on this guy. We'll get these other guys taken care of. Oh, he does take out the big guy. I completely missed that when I was playing. Um, I saw a whole bunch of souls show up. But I thought that they were... 
for one of the other guys. Not for the big guy. Anyway, let's get these two little ones. Let's get you knocked up. I was kind of hoping that I'd be able to turn around and hit this guy, but it was not the case. And I also figured out that you can knock them back uh, a split second before they do their... Uh, what is it? I tried to come get this guy and knock him around, and it didn't work. This, their little spin thing in the air. Uh, if you hit them a split second before they do that, it'll knock them out of it, and you don't have to worry about them doing it at all. Which makes things so much easier. All right. Well, that was the end of that. Now, let's check and see. So that was the way that we came in. Um, I need to know where we need to go. We need to go straight. So if we hang a right, we find what? We find nothing in there. We find a chest in here, of which is protected. Although not for very long. And those things stay in a whole lot longer than I thought that they did. So we get some souls for that. And back here, we find... The Horde Seeker. Well, so now I go through everything and I find that we missed a champion back there. That one's a champion. And we missed a chest down here. Uh, both of which were fairly easy to miss. Uh, and then there's, I believe, three in front of us. So we decide to go back and to pick all those up. Now... Had I thought of this at the time, instead of now, I would have done the running back as a time lapse. Just watched me zip through everything until we got there. However, I didn't think of it. And as a result, I the episode would only be like, I don't know, 25 minutes long? Maybe even just 20 minutes long? No, it'd be about 25 minutes long. So maybe we'll do that. Um... Actually, no. It's fine. I'll talk. I don't mind. It's only a couple more minutes. Until old me comes back. Anyway, the first one that we saw was a champion relic. Um, it's back here. It's actually in the underwater portion, which you can probably get to without it being underwater. Uh, I didn't try. I couldn't see the bottom, so I never jumped down there thinking that we'd die. Uh, so it's actually right underneath here immediately down from where I'm standing I was looking around here just to make sure that it's not in this room and it's not it's actually underwater in the pipe except for the fact that this pipe has an opening in the top because I'm sitting here going okay why can't I see this and then we see the opening it's like oh there it is. Hello, Mr. Champion. How are you doing today? So, now we can go back up. And I checked this side just to be on the safe side. <laughs> but now we can go back up. We can go all the way back. And it is a little ways. It is just a little ways. Anyway. We run, and we run. I should have called this one running instead of Horde Seeker. But oh well. <laughs> We do find a bench that we hadn't destroyed yet. And now we actually have to go back into the main part. I was trying to see if I could just squeeze around and stand on the edge. Uh, yeah, you can't. However, we were... Or the, the thing was high enough in the water that we could do that. And it gave us a boost because I jumped before we were fully at the top. So, yeah, that happened. Uh, anyway, with the map and the Horde Seeker, we can see that there actually is nothing on the top this on this side or on the top at the front. Um, we didn't. I didn't see anything else. I checked the map multiple times uh, after getting Horde Seeker, after even this. I checked it a couple more times, I believe. 
And, uh, yeah, so we have to go all the way back through with funky cameras and all in order to find the last chest that we missed. And I actually don't remember what that chest is. And, yeah, a little glitch there where we just had to go down and back up. But at this point, I'm sitting here trying to figure out how, like, what everything is and where we came from and all of that. So in here, we actually need to get to that other side is the, the way that I looked at it. I completely forgot that we can just run through one of the sides here down below. So, I know there's no way to make it over there, and that's too far away. So, we actually... Yep, see, too far away. So, let's see if we can make it up here. Answer's no. <laughs> but I did find out quite by chance that the fire from those things does not hurt you. Literally flew right through it. Uh, at this point, I was like, oh yeah, duh. This is the path that we're looking for. <laughs> However, I don't remember which way to go. So, going straight in front of us, because I was curious. I'm like, where does this go? Uh, this actually leads us to the passageway where we ran um, while running away from, from her, from the Griever. Uh, it... What's the word that I'm looking for here? <laughs> uh, it, yeah, that was the one where we ran from her, where she was smashing in the top and trying to catch us. That was fun. I remember that. Anyway, it is a long, long way back to get the one chest that we missed. And this is when I realized that my mic was off. So I will meet you folks back when it is turned on. Sorry about that. My mic apparently died. So I have no idea how long I haven't been talking. Um, I really need to get that fixed. It is starting to get just a little tiny bit aggravating. So the chest is technically in front of me, but I have to go all the way around. And then we're going to end off the episode because it's that time. All right, down, forward. Um, what? Did I already kill it? No, we just did. Oh, this thing's down more. Wherever this chest is, it's this way. A way that I actually never checked. Holy Toledo, look at that. The Reaper. This enhancement boosts the harvest of souls from slain enemies. All right. Well... In that case, uh, we want the Reaper there. We want... Oh, that would be nice. Um, nope. I want this there, yes. All right. And with that, I am going to end today's episode off here. Hope you folks have enjoyed it. I'm going to work and make our way back to where we were. Uh, it's going to take me a couple minutes. So, yeah, I didn't want to go the entire way. Wait, what is behind this door? Uh, apparently nothing yet. I didn't want to have to go the entire way back on camera with you. So, yeah. Uh... As I said, we're going to end it off here. Hope you folks enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button down below. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and checking out some of my other content. And as always, I will catch you folks in the next episode. 
Stay frosty out there.